Hey guys, Ben from AGP Turbo. I'm back again to do a quick little video today about oil feed line, or actually oil feed fitting sizes in some popular turbos today. You know, we get a lot of questions here at AGP about, you know, what size fitting do I need? How do I identify my turbo? So today we're gonna do a quick little video showing you guys. You know, the first thing we're going to uh, determine here is whether or not we have a journal bearing turbo or whether we have a ball bearing turbo. And uh, you know, typically, if the turbo has water ports on it, typically it's going to be a ball bearing turbo. If it doesn't have water ports on it, typically it's going to be a journal bearing turbo. Um, however, this isn't always the case. Not all turbos that are water cooled are ball bearing, and not all turbos that are oil only cooled are journal bearing. So um, we're gonna take a look at a few here and, and help determine uh, which ones you got? If you got a turbo that looks similar to this, uh, it's likely going to be uh, your uh, just a normal journal bearing turbo. Um, as you can see, there's no water ports, just a single oil feed port. Um, you know, you got your two bolt attachment there, then you got a threaded oil feed port. Um, these are uh, pretty straightforward, and, and most of these are, are going to be just a journal bearing turbo. Um, next to this, we've got our Borg Warner S200 and S300 turbos. These, uh, these are pretty straightforward turbos as well. Um, no water cooling, um, just, a, just a single oil feed port and a single, um, you know, single oil feed port on both of these and, you know, your standard, uh, your standard drain pattern. Um, this is a, an S200 right here. This is an S300 right here. Um, pretty much all journal bearing Borg Warner turbos, uh, like the S200, S300, and S400 series turbos, will have a quarter inch MPT port. We'll go over that in a second too. We're gonna to take a look at uh, some of the ball bearing uh, options out there. Uh, this is uh, the first one we're gonna look at is your GT ball bearing um, assembly here. And whether you've got the original GT, um, like the old GT 30s, GT 35s, um, or whether you've got a new GTX or a GTX Gen 2, the bearing housing assembly is going to look exactly the same. Um, you've got your oil feed port, you've got your water port here on the side, and then you've got your smaller two bolt drain flange. Uh, the second one we're going to look at, which is not as popular as the GT, but is going to be the GTW. Um, this uh, looks like, um, at first glance, it looks like you know your old um, T3, T4 style. Uh, four bolt that bolts the uh, bearing housing to the back plate. Uh, so it looks like a legacy style turbo, but it is uh, newer in the sense that it does have a ball bearing cage assembly in it. Um, it does have the water ports. One of the ways that you can really identify this um, is the fact that the oil feed port is offset from the flange mounting bolts. So if you see um, a turbo out there with the offset, this is the only style ball bearing that has any sort of offset pattern like this. So if you see this, uh, you for sure have a ball bearing um, cartridge assembly. The other popular ball bearing turbo out there is going to be from Precision. And uh, Precision is a little bit different from everyone else where uh, Precision is one of those that uses an, an air cooled or an oil only cooled bearing housing. So there's no water ports whatsoever. If you can see, they, they have these, uh, these cooling fins in here to help aid in cooling. Um, but that is, uh, that's going to be your Precision um, ball bearing style. Um, you'll see that, that it actually has an extra um, fitting that goes inside, um, it, you know, on top of the feed port is, uh, is, is this fitting that goes in and it holds the cage in, um, much like it does on the GTW, just a little bit different design. All right, now that we've identified what kind of turbos we have, let's, uh, let's figure out what size oil feed fittings we need to purchase here. So. Um, I'm just going to grab this S200 over here. Um, you know, the best way to figure out what size you need is, well, let's measure it. So here we got a pair of calipers. Everyone needs a pair of calipers in your toolbox. If you don't have a pair of calipers, go buy a pair of calipers. You absolutely need these. Um, this is a cheapo set from Amazon, maybe $25, $30, but, um, you know, it'll certainly do the job what we're trying to figure out here, which is, um, you know, measuring the inside diameter of these um, oil ports. So um, I've got an S200 turbo here and I'm going to measure the inside of this port and 
We're coming up with about 440, which uh, if we want to convert that to millimeters, it's about 11 millimeters. And uh, if we see on our little chart here, um, about 440, you're going to have a quarter inch MBD. So um, that's uh, that's the size that, you, that, uh, that, that you're going to need to purchase. Um, <clears throat> next turbo I'm going to grab here just uh, uh, grab a journal bearing uh, precision turbo here and uh, we'll measure the uh, the oil feed port on it and uh, this is coming out to be about 340 339 340 and if we look on our little chart here um, 340 is going to be an eighth inch MPT so um, you know the the next most popular one um, you know obviously the Quarter inch is a very popular one. The eighth inch MPT is a popular one. Uh, the other one is going to be, um, you know, for the ball bearing turbos here, as we showed you in the last uh, little segment. Um, this is about 390, um, 390 or so on the uh, the oil feed port, which is about uh, 10 millimeters. Um, this is going to be our 7 24 inverted flare style fitting. Now. Um, you know, these fittings are a little bit special because uh, some turbos are going to need to have a restrictor using these and some turbos are not. Uh, typically the GT ball bearing style, uh, the GT does not need a res restrictor because it actually has a, um, an oil feed restrictor in the built-in inside on the, uh, uh, what I call the grenade pin or the pin that holds the, uh, the ball bearing cage in place. There's a 32 thousandths hole on there. So those typically don't need an oil restrictor. Um, I'm gonna grab the GTW here. And um, this one is uh, pretty specific as well, uh, as far as it does need an oil restrictor. So it only has about a 50 thousandths uh, orifice in that uh, grenade pin inside there. Uh, but we're gonna measure this one just, uh, just to be sure. And you know, sure enough, this is also a, a 390. So. If we're at 390, this is also 7 16 24. But this being a GTW style, this is going to need a restricted style fitting in order to get proper oil flow through there, not per, in preventing too much oil from passing. Um, so we'll look at uh, we'll look at you know measuring the uh, the S300 here. Uh, this is going to be you know your your 440 thousandths. Um, yeah, 442, 440, 441. That's what I'm coming up with on that. So if we look at our little sheet over here. Um, you know, 440 is going to be a quarter inch MPT. Here's our little cheat sheet here where it shows uh, the measurements and the corresponding uh, fittings that uh, that you're going to need to order. If you get confused on this, you know, we're, we're still here. Give us a call. Shoot us an email. Um, comment below. Uh, we're, uh, you know, we're here. We're here to help get you the right parts that you need to uh, get your turbo car back on the road. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video today. Please, I ask uh, to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and please, if you have any questions about anything, please uh, make a comment uh, down below and, uh, and let us know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks again. Have a good day.